welcome back to another Entrepreneur Truth Talk. I am Lisa Avila, business strategist and coach, and today I am joined by Alexa Pavan. Hi, Alexa. Hi, Lisa. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. It's always fun to see you. <laughs> Alexa is a sustainability copywriter and content creator, and I'm going to have her just jump in and tell us about what she does. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the Alexa. <laughs> that happens a lot more than you think. Um, yeah, so I'm a copywriter um, for sustainable businesses and organizations where I'm doing all things from caption writing to emails, um, blogs, and long form content script writing. Um, and then I also have my own content creation brand where I also focus on sustainability, just trying to teach people that sustainability is really something we can incorporate into our daily lives and we don't have to make that many drastic changes. It's really just simple tweaks here and there and actually just spending less money and doing less can actually help the planet so much. Yes, yes. I love that you do this. And it's so fun to follow you on Instagram and see all the wonderful things you are doing. So let me ask, if you don't mind, how you got started in this. Yeah, of course. Um, so I've always been interested in sustainability as far as like from a nature perspective. Um, I grew up in a small business. My parents had a scuba diving business uh, my whole oh. life. So I was always Im immersed in, I was very grateful and privileged to be immersed in coral reefs and the beautiful waters of South wow. Florida in the U.S. So I've just, um, just always grew up with a found, like a fascination and a deep love for the environment and preserving it. I never thought I could make it a career in my adulthood. I thought it would just be like a passion project. Um, but I just got into copywriting later on in life after years and years of trying different careers and avenues. I found copywriting and I just realized that I didn't want to just be a copywriter for any old brand. I wanted to work with sustainable businesses and organizations and those that are really trying to make a difference and an impact on the world. So it really just stemmed from there. And then, you know, I loved the copywriting piece, but I just felt like there was more out there. And I just felt like I could offer a different perspective, maybe, um, mm -hmm. to share how I, you know, incorporate those little tweaks into my life. Uh, I love that. So I, I, you know, when I follow you and I wonder like, wow, all the scuba diving and all of that, like, which kind of scares me, but you're just so natural. And now I, now I understand why. So that is such a cool way to grow up. How lovely. <laughs> Very lucky, for sure. Yeah, nice. And so you had this project where you went and you traveled around, right? And then you wrote a book about it. And so I love that because I just – just watching your journey and that you just go and do all these different things is really cool. And I saw that you recently were in Portugal. That must have been wonderful. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. And that's another thing, like um, just trying to create a life that it, like reflects my values and also allows me the freedom to try different avenues and like write a book if I want to, um, yeah. you know, promote businesses for, or promote businesses in my writing, but also promote their products if I really truly believe in the business. And um, yeah, just tr like always trying new things. That's what I love about being an entrepreneur, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. And when you travel, you do it sustainably. So you are, you know, walking the talk. I try my best. I understand that sustainability and travel don't really go together. And I get a lot of pushback on that respect. And I totally get uh -huh. it. But I do think that there is a way that we need to incorporate like our normal everyday activities like tra or things that we love and enjoy as humans you know it's like traveling mm -hmm. or going to events and concerts like those things are not naturally sustainable like you they're actually the antithesis to sustainability yeah. but mm -hmm. i think what we can do is show our like change the way things are being done and show that these events and traveling can become more sustainable. It's not going to be an overnight thing. It's going to be yeah. a gradual process. But if we all just do a little bit, it makes a huge difference. Yeah. You know, I first saw that at a Jack Johnson concert years ago where they would have the metal cups, right? And it was like, yeah. people are still going to go to concerts. He's still going to go out on tour, but how can you make it as sustainable as possible? So I like exactly. that. Yeah, and we don't want to take away things that make us human, like going to events and enjoying live mm -hmm. music, you know? We need to incorporate right. those those aspects into our normal life. Yes, and we need that community and the getting away from the desk. <laughs> exactly, the community Yes, aspect. yes. So you are currently located in Florida, correct? 
Yes. Yeah. Nice. And so you're working with partners who are about sustainability as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So I have connected with some amazing businesses and they're all small businesses. I'm really about focusing on small businesses and founder owned businesses over like large corporations. They, they obviously have the budget and everything, but I don't really care to promote their products. They're, they're doing just fine. So I, <laughs> since I grew up in a sustainable or excuse me, a small business, I would love to just promote those companies that are doing so much good for the world that mm -hmm. honestly are not getting enough, you know, airtime or don't have the budget for marketing. Um, yeah. So I've been working with businesses like Blue Planet Optics, which is a business actually located in California um, oh. that sells contacts. They are a distributor for different contacts brands and contact lenses. And mm -hmm. it's I like to promote things that you actually need. Obviously, not everyone needs contact lenses, but there's a large population that does. Hey. And um, another brand <laughs> called Stream. Yeah, me too. So Stream <laughs> to See is another brand. It's a woman owned and founded sunscreen and personal care product brand actually from Florida. Oh. And they make products that don't harm that specifically have certifications that don't harm marine life. And I just love that so much as a scuba diver, as just a beach goer and a water lover, you know, I'm going to use that mm -hmm. every single day of my life. And I do use their products and they work better than any other products I've tried personally, because it's a mineral sunscreen. It's harder to rub in. Um, and both mm -hmm. companies are really dedicated to sustainability. And I work with several others like Renewable is a composting business in South Florida. And I really just try to bring discounts and just offers to my audience to try to get people involved with these products and services and just really expose them to maybe something they haven't heard of before. Yeah. And I appreciate when you do that because just as a time saver, you've done the research, you've done the work, and you can say, I trust this brand. And so when I know it's time to replace my plastic or get new sunscreen for the summer, I can just come to you. <laughs> I don't yeah, have to sit exactly. there and scroll. Yeah. And nice. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. There's a lot of noise out there too. Oh, yes. So much noise. And I want to tell our audience that <laughs> I'm a total dork, right? I'm a forestry major. I love the environment as well. And when I compost, I like to send pictures to Alexa. <laughs> Let I her know like, look at it. <laughs> that is so awesome. I get so happy when I was like, anyone tells me any nature or composting, especially pictures, but I know you're so obsessed with sustainability just as much as I am. So it really warms my heart. So thank you. Oh, good. I, you know, I just, just, every little bit helps. And the more we talk about it and the more we show our family and our friends and me showing my kids, like, it's not that hard to put your stuff in a little compost bin right? And just, just little things. Don't take that plastic, you know, use the glass container, but don't break it. <laughs> right. Exactly. But it's, it's these small habits. Imagine like just in your family, like just a few people doing it there is makes a huge difference and overall trash, um, consumption or how yeah. much trash you're producing and all these different aspects of your life is, are changing. Imagine if like one household does it after you, another household, like it just, it's such a ripple effect. And yes. I don't think people realize how much impact they have as just one person. There, yeah, it's okay. It's you know what? We're just we're just rolling with it here. Okay. <laughs> I know. So if you were talking to a new entrepreneur who is thinking of starting a business or just starting, what advice would you give them? I would say keep going because I think that what we don't talk about enough is that like it's a roller coaster. I mean, we talk about mm -hmm. a lot on the internet. You see a lot of messaging about it, but it, it's a different feeling once you're in it because, you know, a lot of your friends and family will kind of make you feel like, oh, it's not successful yet. It's not mm -hmm. there yet. You're not like doing anything. And it's like that's a 10 plus year progress, you know, like and that mm -hmm. overnight success doesn't exist. So I just think that like people will make you feel like, oh, you're not there yet. And it's, that's not even realistic. So you just have to keep going. When you see, when you think you're not seeing enough progress, just keep going, keep doing the tried and true methods that you know, like, you know what you need to do, just need to do them. You can't keep doubting yourself at every step. You just gotta every day wake up and do the same thing. And you know, over time it'll really add up. It does. And you and I have been on this journey for a while now and I've seen the growth in both of us and it's so inspiring and it's just so nice to have that community too of like that reminder and right of that support of like, no, keep going. You have such a great idea. Keep going. So that's right. great advice. 
Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I just feel like it's not, you know, it's so easy to feel discouraged and there, you have two options to quit or to keep going. And I say, keep going. So tell me, Alexa, where is the best place for people to find you? Yeah. So I'm re really active on Instagram. So you can find me at go green at with Alexa, excuse me. So go green with Alexa and mm -hmm. you can find me on my website, Alexa Pavon.com. So it's my first and last name together. Um, I have a right. newsletter you can subscribe to and yeah, just follow me along on the content creation journey. And I talk about my copywriting clients and yeah. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to message me because I'd like to, you know, do topics, touch on Perfect. topics that people are interested in. All right. Yes. So I will put all of that in the show notes as well so that people can follow you and follow along in sustainability, get some tips from you. And yeah, go check out Alexa because she has great advice and great videos too of scuba diving and the environment. And it's really cool to watch. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah. I also have a tab. Um, it's the favorites tab on my website where you can see all the different mm -hmm. product recommendations and the links with them and the discounts associated. Nice. Right on. Thank you. Thank you for helping. Yeah. It's so great to have you here today. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lisa. All right, everyone. So join me next time. Be sure to subscribe and like and so you can hear the next Truth Talk and we'll see you next time. Bye.